Hello, my awesome Squarespace friends. I wanted to uh, show you the answer to a question that I saw recently about preventing cropping on uh, background images, especially on mobile, because uh, with, with our sections in Squarespace 7.1, they get cropped out a little bit. Um, and there's a pretty simple trick to fix it. So this is the question that I saw from Kyle in the ghost uh, plugin community on Fair, uh, Squarespace. You should check it out. This is a great little Facebook group if you're into that kind of thing. But he was wondering if you there's a way to readjust the background size of a section dynamically as the screen size changes. And there is. And it's really just this one line of code. It's actually quite simple. So I'll just show you quickly how to install it and then we'll talk about it a little bit. So I'm just going to copy this bit of code right there. So here is my pizza parlor, Will's pizza parlor. So this is the background image I want to prevent from being cropped on mobile. If we look at it on mobile, you'll see the sides are cropping out. The height is remaining the same relative to the height of the, the viewport, whatever I'm looking at it on. Um, it's just what, however high this is, which is, I think, you know, 50 VH or something. But let's fix that. So I'm going to paste in that code I have. And now I just need to replace this targeting selector right here with the specific one of this section right here. So I have this great resource by Heather Covey. You can use that to copy that. Or uh, you can, and I'm just, I'll paste it in right there. Or we can jump into the code and look at it. Right hit, click inspect, grab our selector, hover over the item here, and then find the data section ID right here. Doo -doo -doo within this section that we're hovering over. So that's the other way to do it if you don't have that thing. Uh, but you see it already jumped. And so now let's just take a look. Let's look at it on mobile. And you see the height remains the same. We're not getting any cropping. That's perfect. And then as we look at it big, uh, we get a little cropping on the tops, but I'll tell you why, and you can remove that if you don't want to. So that's how you do it. Uh, change this middle value to be whatever the aspect ratio is of your image, which is the the height divided by the width. This is our 9 by 16 aspect ratio. I have a couple others on my installation page right here if you want to replace that out with a different aspect ratio. But other than that, this is how it works. Hang with me if you want to learn a little bit more about why this works, what the min height is and clamp. But otherwise, hope you enjoy. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this min height property right here. What is that? Why is that happening? Well, this is what is Squarespace is giving the is this is how Squarespace is creating the heights of our sections here. So I am going to let's comment this out with our backslash star and then star backslash. That'll comment it out. Let's hit edit on this section. And as you see, as I jump into the section editor right here, we're using a custom value, which is 60. And this 60 means 60% the height of our entire viewport. So our entire viewport, this section will always keep 60% of the height of that section. And it's actually the minimum height. So if we just have a lot of content in here, I have this great little tool right here, which I was going to put a lot of ad lorem. So that sets the minimum height. But if we have a lot of text or something, then it allow we allow it to grow because the minimum height is this 60 value, but there's more content, so it's going to grow. And this is the reason why you're getting cropping, is because the content in there is, is large, or the image is not the focal point of the section, it's the content within it. Even if you don't have content in it, this min height 60 is still being applied. So let's delete all of this content out. So that's why we're using the min height. We could, we could say height right here, however, what if I said height right here? You're gonna see nothing is changing still. And it's not changing because the min height, this min height property that Squarespace has given it is still in there. So this min height, it's essentially min height as 60 VH. That is still in there. And this minimum height is going to override the height here. We have two conflicting values. The minimum height is going to override it. So that's the reason why we need to use min height because that's what Squarespace gives it. So that's the value we're trying to reset. All right, now let's talk about this clamp stuff. What is this, what is this clamp value all about? All right, so this clamp value allows us to set minimums 
and maximums that we want a property be, to be. So our min height, we can set our minimum, don't ever be any smaller than zero pixels. That's probably a good thing for background image. But also don't ever be taller than 100 viewport units high. So that's our the height of our screen. So don't ever be taller than that. And if we're not either one of those, then this is our preferred value, which is our 9 by 16 aspect ratio. The best, one of the, one of the most uh, useful ways to use clamp is in font sizes. So I have a little uh, demo here. You can see, watch this number here. This is the actual pixel value of our font size. And as I get smaller, so now it's not going to be any smaller than 32 pixels. But also my text title, let's move my face over here. My text title is going to grow as my screen gets bigger. And then it's not going to get any bigger than 64. So our middle value, we want our font size to be six viewport units wide of our font. But don't ever be smaller than 32. Don't ever be larger than 64. So that's kind of what's happening here. And we're doing the same thing with our background image. So again, same thing. This is sort of the general idea. We don't want our background image in this example, as opposed to what I have over here, which is zero pixels 100. In this example, let's say no smaller than 30% high and no taller than 75% high. And now let's see what happens. Then it just sort of stops right there and then moves in. Then at this point, we'd start to get some cropping and then let's get bigger. And then at this point, we'd start to get some cropping a little bit because it's not going to maintain that aspect ratio. So that is what our clamp does. We have a lower limit and an upper limit. And then this is our preferred value. And our preferred value for our background image, this is our aspect ratio. So that is what we are doing right here. So that's sort of the explanation of how all of this works. I've actually implemented this into my sliding image banner plugin uh, that you can see right here. I'll just show you a quick example. This is our little slider here. Um, but you see as we go smaller, it keeps the aspect ratio of our background image. So that's a new feature of that plugin. If you haven't tried that or if you want that, you can check it out. I have a link there. Uh, but otherwise, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions and have a great day.